Fabulous. Today, I want to talk about letting go and saying goodbye with love, grace, gratitude, and ease because letting go of something is required before you can let in something new. But we get so tied up and clinging so tightly to things. And when we cling so tightly, we're strangling the energy of it, right? We need to love loosely. We need to hold on loosely. We need to be brave in our business and understand that everything is flow. This is the same with money, with clients, with love, with relationships, with phases of food, with anything, right? Things come and go. When you try to stop things going, you're stopping the flow. That's why every time I get a bill, I'm like, yeah, another opportunity to let that money flow. And it's all the vibe, right? Like the universe truly has your back and it will always provide for you. I never, ever get a feeling when one of my clients moves on because I know that that's just making way for new clients. And why I'm talking about this just now is I've just said goodbye to a beautiful, beautiful client. Now, when I work with my clients, especially my my one-to-one clients, I work with them for quite a long time. We build up such, such a relationship, such a beautiful energy between us. And we move their business from where they thought they wanted to go to, well, this massive thing. And then when they get to a certain level, it's time to fly. And I'm always so happy that they go. And obviously, we remain friends forever, right? I I always remain friends with my clients. People are like, mm, should you be friends with your clients? So I'm like, well, if you're not willing to be friends with your clients, what does that actually say about the way that you're working? Are you working with people that you don't like? Is it that you think that they're going to be mad at you and you don't give them, you know, your all and then they're going to feel weird about it? Like, why would you not want to be friends with your clients? It just doesn't make any sense to me on a soul level, a heart level not even a brain level, sorry, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I have a true love relationship, a true soul relationship with the clients that I'm here to serve. And so when they go off and fly, it's a happy celebration. We're like, yeah, you're flying and this is great. Cool, these are your next steps. And you know, you feel free to reach out. It's always that way. So what in your life right now, my darling, is it time to let fly like a beautiful butterfly, like a beautiful dove? What is it time to release with love and grace and gratitude. Don't forget the gratitude part, so important to be grateful that the person that you've helped has grown enough that now they get to fly. In fact, I've had a couple of these in the last month and it's just so beautiful to watch. And always with lockdown, things shift for us, right? Because we get that little bit of space, we get that bear mode where we're like, ah, hide me from the world, which always brings such beautiful clarity. So then we know the next things that we're moving off into. So my darlings, I wish that for you today as well. Being able to release with love, grace and ease. Have a fabulous day forward. And remember, together we shall rise. And if you're looking for more ways to to be releasing with love, grace and ease, even some of the things that maybe aren't so fabulous in your life, my book is coming out on Friday. And I'm so honestly wildly excited about it. Woo Woo for Women in Business will be available on Amazon on Friday. Super pumped about that. And launch month, you get to go in the draw to win $2,400 of coaching with me so that I can love you and then release you like the others. Um, And you also get to pick a free gift from our online shop. How cool is that? There is some super cool stuff on there from like $17 all the way up to $800. Boom. All of it completely free when you buy the book and send me proof that you've purchased it and reviewed it on Amazon. Go forth. Have a fabulous day together. We shall rise.